The following is a paid program for Passionist Communications. Hi, welcome to the Sunday Mass brought to you by the Passionist Community. I'm Father Edward Beck here at St. Malachy's in Midtown Manhattan. It is February 1st. It's the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Robert Jerger, the Provincial of the Passionists from our residence in Pelham. Our lector is Hector Lozada, and our congregation, the Academy of Our Lady from Glen Rock, New Jersey. If you have the prayer guide, please open to the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time and let's begin our celebrating together. the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our loving God be with all of you. And with, your, with spirit. your spirit. And as we come together today to celebrate this great mystery of God's love for us, let us call to mind our need of God's mercy and pray, Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the bread of life. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses sp spoke to all the people, saying, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your kin. To him you shall listen. This is exactly what you requested of the Lord your God at Horeb on the day on the, of the assembly when you said, Let us not again hear the voice of the Lord our God nor see this great fire any more, lest we die. And the Lord said to me, This was well said. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their kin, and will put my words into his mouth. He shall tell them all that I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words which he speaks in my name, I myself will make him answer for it. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak, or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us greet him with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I should like you to be free of anxieties. An unmarried man is anxious about the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But a married man is anxious about the things of the world, how he may please his wife, and he is divided. An unmarried woman or a virgin is anxious about the things of the Lord, so that she may be holy in both body and spirit. A married woman, on the other hand, is anxious about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. I am telling you this for your own benefit, not to impose a restraint upon you, but for, for the sake of propriety and adherence to the Lord without distraction. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not like the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him and all were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. If you were to uh, travel only a short distance from this church here in Midtown Manhattan, you would come upon a Passionist monastery in Jamaica, Queens, called Immaculate Conception. And many of our Passionist men, brothers and priests, live and minister there. But within that community is another community who are the frail and the 
elderly, and the sick of our province who are cared for by nurses and doctors in a very loving way. In so many ways, Immaculate Conception is like the treasury of our province, because if you were to go there, you would find men who have given over their entire lives to God, and now, at the end, witness a certain kind of surrender. It's very inspiring. Yesterday, I had breakfast there, and I was sitting with one of our priests, Father Stephen, who's had a stroke and has been debilitated by it, and he said to me, you know, yesterday I was completely independent, and then I wake up today, and I find myself completely dependent on the floor, somebody needing to feed me, to bathe me, all of the things that I used to be able to do for myself, he said, and I just sit here and I begin now to put my life together. At another table was a man named Father Dan, who had complete eyesight one day and the very next day had no eyesight. He listens to classical music each day, and there is a peacefulness and a surrender about him in the midst of all of that personal loss. He was an active hospital chaplain for years and years in Baltimore. This may be part of your story as well. I mean, maybe you're sitting here listening to this mass in a, in a hospice or a hospital or at home, and something kind of came over you physically, and, and now your life has somehow changed. It's a, it's a call to surrender, to give it over to God, and allow that loss to become life's blessing. It's very easy to say. It takes an awful lot to be able to do it. When I was reading this gospel after that visit yesterday, I was thinking about the man in the gospel who is overtaken with an unclean spirit. Have you ever felt maybe the same, that at some point in life you were sitting in darkness or an unclean spirit came over you or, or something that you just really couldn't move beyond, overshadowed by the dark? Sometimes we do take walks, sometimes in our life, through some dark places before we finally come to the light. Uh, I remember a time in my own life when my mother was dying of Alzheimer's disease. My father and I were always fighting. We were so angry at each other. You know, we, we couldn't be angry at my mother. We couldn't be angry at God, so we we kind of took it out on each other, screaming and yelling at each other in an anger that just seemed to last for way too long. It, it took me over. I took him over. And a lot of that was just due to our loss, the loss of, of a woman we love so much who no longer knew who we were. Jesus beautifully comes into that. And he says to the unclean spirit, quiet, come out of him. It's like St. Paul in the second reading, dismiss this anxiety from your mind. Whatever it is, whatever might be unclean or unresolved in us, if we allow God to touch it in tenderness, to speak to it, to acknowledge it, to tell it to be quiet and to dismiss that anxiety from our minds. Then we walk in the light, and as Joe sang so beautifully for us in the responsorial psalm, we learn little by little when we hear that voice not to harden our hearts. Amen.
confident that God gives us all we need, we put our prayers with courage and strength in God's hands. Our response is, hear us, O Lord, that the peace of Christ will free all people from hatred and violence, we pray. Hear, hear us, O Lord. Lord. That all Christians may be gracious, merciful, and just, sharing their goods with the poor and trusting with firm hearts in the Lord, we pray, the Lord. Hear, hear us, us, O Lord. For the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our television parishioners placed next to the altar, and for Silvio Talarico, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray. Hear, hear us, us, O Lord. O Lord. Lord God, you have made us one in Christ Jesus. In his name, we ask you to share with us and with all people the blessings of our inheritance in Christ, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. God has chosen me, God has chosen me to bring good news to the poor. God has chosen me, God has chosen me to bring new sight to the searching for light. God has chosen me, chosen me, and to tell the world that God's kingdom is near, to remove oppression and break down fear. Yes, God's time is near, God's time is near, God's time is near. God's time is near, and to tell the world that God's kingdom is near, to remove oppression and break down fear. Yes, God's time is near, God's time is near, God's time is near, God's time is near. Time is near. We pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Paul of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with the Spirit. and let us offer each other a sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sin of the world. world. Have and mercy have on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world. world. <clears throat> have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. Only say the word, and my soul shall be with you.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, thanks be to God. Thank you so much for joining us today. Special thanks to the Academy of Our Lady from Glen Rock, New Jersey, a faithful congregation. We always love having them. And all of you who join us week after week via television and the internet, thank you for your support and thank you for being our parishioners. I invite you as always to go to the website at thesundaymass.org. One of the things you can do at that website is you can look at these books that we have available online. You can download them or you can order them. One is the book of Prayer and Blessings, which is a collection of Catholic prayers and blessings, a beautiful collection. And the other is a book called Come Walk With Me by Passionist Priest Father Paul Zalanka, and it's meditation on the journeys that we all take in life. And both are available for purchase or to download at the website, which is thesundaymass.org. If you're not an internet person, then you can call us on the number on your screen, and we'd be happy to send you a copy. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you back here next Sunday to celebrate again. Let all things now living a song of thanksgiving to God our Creator triumphantly raised, who fashioned and made us, protected and stayed us by guiding us on to the end of our The preceding was a paid program for Passionist Communications.